If you appreciate brutal honesty, this video is really for you because I'm going to give you guys my unfiltered opinions on many, many popular trends of 2023. Many of the things that I'm going to talk to you guys about, I think we're all tired of seeing. Starting with the first trend. This is actually a very specific piece of clothing. This piece has been so popular in 2023. It needs its own segment in this video and that is this very popular biker jacket from Zara, also known as the Molly May jacket. You guys guessed it, Molly May wore it once and now everyone in the UK and their mom has this jacket. Disclaimer, I'm all for encouraging people to wear what makes them feel best, but because this video is about dissecting trends, I am going to tell you guys exactly what I think about this jacket. Let's ignore the fact that it's a very popular jacket for one second. Honestly, I think it's very cool. I think it's a great jacket. The jacket retails for $59.99, so £60. Zara has restocked it so many times because like there is such a high demand for it. Some girls make it look so cool, but I just feel like it's just been rinsed so much that I feel like we can move on now. If you love it, wear it. As for my personal opinion, do I think it's a nice jacket? Yes. Do I think there are other nice jackets out there? Definitely yes. So do what you will with that. Okay, the second trend is one that I like. And it's interesting I say this because I've actually never tried on this piece myself personally. I've tried to buy it in the past, but it was always sold out in my size. It is the maxi skirt. First of all, the maxi skirt is eclectic. There are so many variations. There is the simple satin one, there's a knit one, denim, pleated, silky, there's just a lot of variation. In January of this year, Vogue did release an article stating that the year 2023 will literally have maxi skirts all around. Like everyone's gonna be wearing maxi skirts. Vogue always predicts trends and many take off. And this is definitely one of them. I wish I tried on a maxi skirt when it was warmer because now it's too cold to wear one unless you wear leg like, warmer underneath, I guess. But like, I never really got into it and I feel like I still am open to getting into it. Maxi skirts are definitely a 90 inspired trend. Gen Z, I'm Gen Z, so many of us are Gen Z. I feel like Gen Z is just obsessed with the 90s. I want to know what you guys think because I love this. Like, there's so many ways to style it, especially going into spring. I feel like a lovely pastel maxi skirt, maybe in a satiny silky material would look so beautiful and spoiler alert, pastels are really really in for 2024. Also, another spoiler alert, I will be dropping a video in the next two weeks about all the trends of 2024 that you need to be aware of. So you might want to subscribe so you don't miss out on that video. Okay, so now let's talk about the third trend. I feel like people almost find it a little cringe talking about this because it's just been so overly done this year and you guessed it, it is the quiet luxury trend. I'm sure you must have heard other people talk about this, but let me tell you what I think. So I think having this whole logo less aesthetic gives many smaller designer brands the chance, you know, wiggle their way into the whole mainstreamness of things, which can be a good thing because, you know, newer designers are getting exposure that they wouldn't have gotten if it was more logo mania, if you know what I mean. So I think in some senses, it like has done good for the industry because now you know brands that are not mainstream becoming more popular. Like for example, one of the brands being The Row. It's been here for some time, but it's not your Chanel, Prada, Louis, Louis V. It's not like that kind of mainstream. Like most people wouldn't know The Row. If you know The Row, it's because you're a fashion girly. I don't know what to tell you. The row has a very minimal aesthetic. I feel like quite luxury, the row and quite luxury, like literally, were made for each other. Even like brands like Cos, for example. But I want to focus a little bit on the row because it's so interesting that the designer bag of the year, as you guys can see here, was awarded to the row interesting right it's their margot bag i believe that's how you pronounce it i was like that is so interesting like it's the most quiet muted looking bag i personally am not a fan of this bag the entire shape of it is not really for me i do like bigger bags now i'm a changed woman but this bag i'm not a fan of but i know like there are people who love this bag and i love this bag on other people but me personally i wouldn't really enjoy it people really are jumping on the bandwagon of the whole quite luxury and I like it but I'm not gonna lie to you guys I kind of am waiting for it to pass quite luxury 
is fun in some ways but it's not like you know it's lacking juice so before we move on to the fourth trend i actually want to give an honorable mention to a trend that i am so happy never took off like there was so much hype around this people were like oh my god it's gonna be such a big thing but i am so grateful that it never took off and that trend is the no pants trend i know and if this is the first time you're hearing someone talk about it that is honestly great because that just means that it never really took off but if you don't know what it is it's literally what the name means like no pants like this is basically what people were going for and i love miu miu and like miu miu was one of the brands i was really like you know kind of pushing for it like you know nudging people to get into the trend no one really did and i'm so happy no one really did like with every trend there are some girlies that will rock literally anything but like for society as a whole i think it's best we don't do this so the fourth trend is biker jackets and i briefly went over this in my last video where I talked about things I used to hate that I now like and in that video I kind of mentioned the biker jacket trend basically in like the April edition of the Vogue magazine I saw a bunch of biker jackets and I was like oh okay cute not for me but I was wrong a couple months later because I bought a jacket from Scissors and Seekers and I loved it. This trend as a whole, I think, is not for everyone. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I don't think it's for everyone. I don't think it suits everyone's aesthetic. I do think it's a great trend. I think it's really fun and edgy, and I think I'm a little biased because I do enjoy street style, but like for a girl who's very into like a romanticized type of dressing sense, like someone who loves twill, someone who loves sequences, I'm not sure this biker jacket trend is for someone like that. I will tell you that it's not the warmest jacket because it's quite thin, so it's great for like transitional seasons like maybe spring or fall and now let's talk about the fifth trend and by the way if you watched the video this far please give me a thumbs up the fifth trend that i've noticed especially like closer to the end of the year is i don't know how to feel about it like i'm really like in and out i'm really like you know maybe i like it maybe i don't like i don't know how to feel about it part of me feels icky when i think about it part of me likes it i am confused i'm talking about the adidas gazelle shoes i love the idea of wearing like a plain white t-shirt denim jeans and like maybe a red pair i think that looked really cool on some people but like i don't know maybe because when i was in high school like literally everyone wore them and i used to feel so tired of you know looking at them every day so maybe like i'm I'm a little biased so i feel like you know i'm kind of like not into the whole vibe but like many people are and like online they're always sold out the, the neutral colors are always sold out of notice because like there was a time where i was looking into buying one and i'm not gonna lie to you i might buy the platform ones because like i do like how the platform ones look but they're always out of stock in my size so maybe next year i'll have something like that i saw tomorrow wear a pair and i was like oh okay cool you guys know i love tomorrow i want to know what you guys think do we like it do we not and so so those are all my honest opinions on the trends of 2023 i want to know what you guys think comment down below your favorite part of the video and give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already i love you guys so 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 much and i'll see you guys next time bye you're gone now will you come